this video tutorial i will explain what is receive message wait time in amazon sqs what is amazon sqs amazon sqs is a fully managed message queuing service provided by aws it allows you to send store and receive messages between software components and making it easier to build and scale distributed applications what is receive message wait time the receive message wait time is a setting in amazon sqs that determines how long the receive message api call waits for the message to arrive in the queue before returning the response now we will see the key points the first one is short polling which is the default one when you call receive message api without setting a wait time sqs uses short polling the api call returns immediately whether it finds a message or not if there are no messages it returns a empty response this method can result in higher api request rates and more cost the second point is long polling when you specify a receive message wait time out we can set up to 20 seconds then sqs uses long polling the api call waits up to the specified time for a message to arrive in the queue if a message becomes available within the wait time it returns the message immediately if no message arrives within the wait time then it returns a empty response after the wait time expires now we will see benefits of long polling first point is reduced cost long polling reduces the number of empty responses which leads to fewer api request and this can lower your cost especially in the scenario with low message traffic the second point is efficient resource usage by waiting for messages to arrive long polling reduces unnecessary api calls and the server load this makes your application more efficient and responsive third point is better performance long polling ensures that messages are received as soon as they are available this can improve overall performance of your application and it reduces the delay in the message processing now we will see the example scenario which is user sign up notifications imagine you have a queue that receives user sign up notifications with short polling your application keeps checking the queue frequently even if no new users sign up this results in many empty responses and higher cost with long polling your application waits for example 10 seconds for a new message if a user sign up during this 10 seconds then the message is delivered immediately if no new users sign up occur then application checks less frequently which reduce cost and improve the efficiency now we will see the example scenario which is order processing imagine you have an application which process the orders from the online store orders are placed into the sqs queue and worker application retrieves and process these orders first scenario is without wait time and it is called short polling the worker sends request to receive the messages if the queue is empty then the worker immediately gets an empty response and the worker has to send another request soon after which leads to many request and a possible higher cost second scenario is with wait time and it is called long polling the worker sends a request to receive messages within wait time of 10 seconds if the queue is empty then the request waits up to 10 seconds for the new message to arrive this reduces number of empty responses and total number of requests which makes the system more efficient and cost effective now we will see how to configure receive message wait time we can do using aws management console or aws sdks or cli we will see how to do using aws management console here you can see 
create queue page of AWS SQS queue. And in configuration section, you can see receive message wait time. And here we can set the value up to 20 seconds. For AWS CLI, you have to use this command to set the wait time in seconds. Now we will see the summary. Receive message wait time allows your SQS queue to wait for messages before responding. It helps to reduce the number of empty responses, which can lower the cost by making fewer requests. And we can configure receive message wait time through AWS Management Console or SDK or CLI. It is a powerful feature for optimizing message retrieval in your applications. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please click on like button and please subscribe to my channel. You can get Java source code and PowerPoint presentation for each and every video. That you can see it in the description section of the video. Click on show more and here you can see the description and here you can see the links to download source code and PowerPoint presentation.